looking at some mathematical functions in Excel 2007. The ones of interest are round, round down, round up, sum and sum if. You should have already used a couple of these, round and sum. I've only put in them in here now to compare with the other ones that we're looking at. So I've got my functions labelled there and I've got some simple numbers there, 5.1.5.8, 6.1, 6.5, Okay. Um, we're going to round first, which is the one that you should be aware of how to do from the ECDL qualification. Um, and I'm going to type these in. Remember, you can use the, the function palette, but I'm just going to type them in. So equals round open brackets. As we do that typing, Excel reminds us what we need to be doing underneath. And remember, if you're not sure about any of these aspects, you can click here and it will open up the help accordingly. Um, but because that's highlighted in bold, it tells us I need a number next. So the number I want to put in is this 5.1. So obviously we don't use numbers, we use cell references. So it's cell reference B3. So I want to round cell B3. Looking at our tooltip underneath, it tells us I next need a comma. So I'll just put the comma in. And then the number of digits. How many digits do I want to round this number down to? Sorry, how many decimal places in effect? I don't want any decimal places. In these numbers, 5.1, 5.5, 5.8, they have got one decimal place. So if you want your numbers to look like that, this number of digits, you would put one. But I don't want any numbers after the decimal place, so I'm going to put zero. So it's in effect the number of places after the decimal point. Close the brackets. Press the enter key or click the tick, and there's the result. So what round does, it takes the number in the cell and rounds it to the nearest whole number. So if I replicate that across to the rest of my numbers, we can see what happened. 5.1 has been rounded down to 5. 5.5 has been rounded up to 6. The rule is any number that is 5 or above gets rounded up. Sorry, 0.5 or above is rounded up. Any number that is less than that 0.5 gets rounded down. So we can see 5.5 goes up to 6, 5.8 goes up to 6, 6.1 comes down to 6, 6.5 up to 7, 6.8 up to 7. So that's how round works, you should be aware of that. Round down works in exactly the same way, except it will always round down to the nearest whole number. So I'm doing round down, open the brackets, cell reference B3, comma, how many digits? I don't want any. Close, press the enter key. That's been rounded 5, rounded down to 5. We'll replicate that across. And you can see all these number 5 points have been rounded down to 5. All the six points have been rounded down to six. They're always re rounded down. Round up next works in exactly the same way. It equals round up. Open our brackets. What number do we want to round up? It's this one in the cell B3. Comma. How many decimal places? I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to use zero again. Close the brackets. Press the enter key. Replicate that across. And you can see now... All those numbers have been rounded up to the next whole number. So fives have all gone to six. Sixes have all gone to seven. They've all been rounded up to the next whole number. Hopefully you know what sum does. Equals sum, open brackets. I want to add up this row of numbers. So B3 to G3. Close. I'm not going to go into that. You should know how to do that. What I want to show you is sum if to show you the difference between the two. So again, I'm typing in equals sum if open brackets. Look at the, the help under here. It says what range do I want to work with? What criteria do I want to work with? And what is the sum range? Now, I'm going to gloss over this little bit 
to start with because I'll do another example in a minute but this first example I'm going to gloss over that so range is the range here they're the numbers I'm adding up but I'm also these are also the numbers that I'm going to apply a criteria to criteria let's have a look at the tip I've got my range in b3 to g3 comma what's the criteria now we can use cell references we can use all kinds of things here I'm going to use um, some quotation marks and put uh, less than six and close the quotation marks so what is going to happen is we're going to look at the numbers in this cell range if it is less than six we're going to add it up if it's not less than six if it doesn't match the criteria we're not going to add it up this sum range because it's in square brackets means it's optional we don't need to use it so I'm going to leave my function at that, close it off with the close brackets, press the enter key. See the result is 16.4. What has happened is it's looked at each one of these numbers and compared it to 6 or less than 6. If it's less than 6, it's added it up. Let's see if it's right. 5.1 is less than 6. 5.5 .5 is less than 6. 5.8 is less than 6. All the rest of those are greater than 6. So it's only adding up these three numbers, which add up to 16.4. As a little test, look at this down here on the status bar. It has got our sum details there, 16.4. If you select any numbers, it shows you there what they add up to. So I can use that as a little tip. Those three numbers add up to 16.4. So the sum if is working. We'll now look at it in a slightly different way. I've just added some labels here. England, Scotland, Wales. Let's imagine these figures are, I don't know, rainfall on a, on a particular month. Um, rainfall in England, 5.1 millimetres. Rainfall in Scotland, 5.5, etc. If we want to add up all the rainfall for just England, we can use some if to do this. So let's just type in rainfall for England across a bit okay rainfall for England so in this cell here we're going to type equals sum if that's the function we're going to use open brackets what is the range that I want to apply the criteria to and this is the range that I want to apply the criteria to England Scotland Wales I want to check which ones of those are England so that is the range I am adding my criteria to. Comma. Criteria. What is the criteria? I'm going to type in England. I could use cell references. That would work. So I'm going to look at each one of those cells. And if it equals England, I want to add up the number underneath it. This is where the sum range comes in. So I need my comma. What is the sum range? This is the range that we want to add up, the sum range. Close brackets. So let's read that. Sum, add up, if the contents of cell B2 to G2, if they are England, then add up the numbers. Press the enter key. 24.5. Let's just check. That one's England. I'm going to hold down the control key. That one's England. That one's England. That one's England. So I've selected all four of those that are England. Look down here. Sum is 24.5. I've added those up. If you add those numbers up, they'll get to 24.5. You don't need to think about it. Computer does it for you. So let's think about sum if again. Means add up if the numbers match a certain criteria. 